see people are quite upset at the front but he asked is he supposed to be single for a long time the shaman's answer was so this is like what in there babe rice yeah. whiskey you got your beer tang yeah. you got your fizzy pop all the spirits favorite yeah that's spirit what the spirits favorite. like to to drink yes. and coincidentally enough it's mm -hmm. what the party like goers like to drink too <laughs> so for it's worked out quite well isn't it today we're at um john mamwad this is the uh, uh, entering of the spirits. So they believe this is very, very rare. You'll only see this in parts of Buriram and Surin area in, in the Khmer communities. It is a ceremony of bringing in the demons, the spirits and the ancestors. Uh, and it takes place between the farming cycle. One of the reasons that I really wanted to bring you guys here as well is that I think one of the top five experiences that I ever had in Thailand uh, happened at this house because this is where the shaman lives and she is kind of leading the festivities today. Now, I brought my dad here when he was here, but we couldn't film it because the shaman wouldn't allow. But what happened is we end up having a discussion with the shaman where my dad was able to ask some questions and the shaman channeled for him. Uh, the shaman is actually a woman, but she channels a man inside her. It, the spirit that she channels is, is, a, is male. So when you're talking to her, through her, you're talking to a male. And generally people will come and ask questions and get answers to things. So um, my dad asked some questions and I asked some questions. I would say that like we have something in common, me and her, and that she practices a form of commerce shamanism, uh, whereas I use different plant medicines to achieve similar states. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about what she said later on in this vlog to me. Uh, it's been a good opportunity to be able to share this story because it was probably the top three experience in Thailand. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะแม่ไม่ได้มาจ๊ะจ๊ะทําไมล่ะดูลูกน้อยดูลูกน้อยเดี๋ยวลงมาในยุคตลอดเลยไม่ตอน
or whatever and somebody was coming in with a camera when you didn't really want it so me and Damo we always ask uh, permissions like we ask them first are we okay with a camera here are we okay with a camera here and they let us know accordingly so last time I was here it was very late at night it was dark we'd come down the the back roads with my dad over the bumpy roads because this this is a village kind of really out there it's, it's even more isolated than our village and so my dad had his questions answered first I'm sure you won't mind me sharing with you what he asked but he asked is he supposed to be single for a long time the shaman's answer was <clears throat> what he channeled was actually yes he's better off uh, being single for now um, he, she, she told him that if he got with a Thai lady uh, he, he, he was talking to somebody but um, that she would just want his money so <clears throat> I don't know if you need a shaman to tell you that but um, for me I asked a little bit about working with plants like am I supposed to I've been working with plants for about 10 years so it's kind of second nature to me and I, I was asking you know should I continue to work uh, with with the plants it's been nothing but good for me to be honest guys like it's changed my life helped me get sober it's made me a better dad made me a better husband I think uh, I've done a lot of work on myself still not finished cut goose you know what I mean but um, tried to really kind of focus on becoming a better person I, I don't think I always was a very nice person um, I don't think I think there are parts of us that are all all of us that are not fully nice that we, we hide from society you know we put on the persona we put on the face and yet behind that there's certain things that we're doing thinking that maybe not be fully pure and and so yeah working with plants has been a little bit about that been a little bit about purifying purifying the mind purifying the body that kind of thing and her answer in a roundabout way was was yes and I mean I won't go into too much detail but we had a bit of an experience together in that we were kind of sat in meditation together and we we met each other on another plane so a plane that I can say is like made of light so it's it's more I won't call it the astral plane that's too new agey for me but it's certainly like where you might go as in a dream in the dream world um, if you've ever had a dream dreams feel real right and we met on a level in the dream world where both of us were kind of balls of light and the shaman said to me thank you for not burning me up with your light that's what she said to me on, on the day so I actually don't remember much because I was in this weird zone but I will ask Damo about it as well um, by the end of this vlog and she, she can tell you a bit more because she was actually translating for us because obviously the shaman speaks in Khmer something else but I'd like to capture this moment oh, 
So the old lady, you just saw what happened with her then. She went into kind of a trance state and now she's putting on the sarong. And this is the sign that the, the, the male spirit has come inside her. Uh, the, the woman wouldn't usually wear the sarong. So now she is somewhat possessed by the male spirit. Notice the shaman also on the left is wearing a sarong. That's because she is in, inside is a male spirit who's taken the body of this uh, lady here. Now, as, as she's now, the male spirit is in the old lady's body, he is going to say what he wants and what his wishes are. He has picked up some horns, and you can see, like, there's what, who is usually a sweet old lady, actually, became more like a grumpy man. She's a little bit grumpy. Personality change there. Some like to smoke these handmade cigarettes, like to have a drink of Lao Kao. I will mention as well this lady, she doesn't usually drink rice whiskey or anything like that. So it would be out of character for her to drink the rice whiskey, but if the male spirit liked it, then they would do that. We're asking for rice whiskey, real rice whiskey that made from rice, the traditional rice whiskey. That so she's having a real good smoke. And she sat like um, like a man too. Now this lady doesn't smoke, and she doesn't drink rice whiskey, but she's asked for the the heaviest rice whiskey, the real rice whiskey. That's what she's asked for. So this is the possession of the male spirit in the female body who wants a good smoke and a bit of rice whiskey. That's quite typical Thai farmer. He comes back from the spirit land and what he wants is rice whiskey and a cigarette. <laughs> they live in death as they live in life. These Thai, these Thai farmers. Come on. Ceremony. <laughs> 
but this part of the ceremony is called healing with music and the spirits that are possessed the bodies they're the ones that do the DJing they select they're the ones that select the song to play
So once the spirit has come in, the bowl is thrown and she selects the belongings that belong to the particular spirit and then she will put it on. So she's putting the sarong on that belongs to that particular spirit. So this spirit is actually female. The sarong is worn differently. And she has uh, the female top on. Okay, so we had a little break in the music here. I've not been able to speak much this vlog. As I've said, I've just let the cameras roll. You can see people are quite upset at the front. This is about seeing ancestors, talking to ancestors, bringing ancestors back. There's obviously grief here as well. After all, this is about the spirits. When Ryan dad here, it's like uh, I brought him here. I brought them here to see the shaman. It's very interesting. And the, when the shaman see Ryan, the first thing that see is like uh, shaman see shaman. And then uh, very interesting and very true. Like when they say everything, you know, like about his dad, about Ryan, about past life, or about what he's doing right now. It's very interesting, right? And Brian, he very surprised, like uh, how they know and how how it's like uh, the what you call energy, you know, between them, between Ryan and Shaman. And the Shaman say like uh, once Ryan step into the Shaman house, that feel like a fire. That feel is something burning in their body. It's like uh, they see they see Ryan have like very high spiritual. What you call? It? It's like uh, an energy of spiritual thing, you know. And then uh, it's like uh, they say like right. They see Ryan as another shaman, yeah. And then uh, they very respect him. Ryan he asked the shaman, "Should I continue the plant medicine?" And the shaman, uh, the shaman say like, "Yes, but you have to wear white if you want to go deeper level." Yeah, he advised like uh, tell Ryan to. Don't let it go so too far, you have to come back quickly.
This is the spirit of a past relative that has, is now seeing the, the son grown up for the first time. Grandpa, grandpa, grandma come back, see the grandson here. Grandson doesn't know how to act. So obviously if it's not his grandma and granddad that you can see. So that's it for this vlog, something a little bit different. I've just let the cameras roll on this vlog. Uh, some people will enjoy that, some people not, but I do so much to capture that I don't want to cut anything out. The stuff you see happening in the background, the stuff you see happening in the foreground, and it's been very interesting for us to, to watch this. What do you feel, you're f uh, Farang, the first time seeing something like this? Yeah, I think not many Farang get to see something like this. I don't think you'll see this on many other channels, to be honest. You've been typing I feel through. quite privileged to come and, to come and see time. it. Damo's first time. And uh, yeah, we're very happy they invited us in to film it. Um, very grateful that they invited us in and, and they've been very welcoming to us. And so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Right.